Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we are going to review Dagon, which now supports VR. It originally released September 24th, 2021 by developer BitGollum. It's available for all the major VR headsets and it's free to play. And I'll put the link in the video description where you can download this game for free on Steam. Dagon is described by the developer as a 3D narrative experience in madness based on the cult short story of the same title by the master of cosmic horror and weird fiction H.P. Lovecraft himself. It's a 3D visual novel that's fully voiced. It takes about 30 minutes to fully experience. You don't only experience the story, you also learn about the original story, its author, and their impact on culture. Dagon is running on the Unity engine. On my RTX 3080, I was getting 90 frames per second for the most part, although there were a few frame drops here and there. Personally, I would have preferred the experience to be better optimized, but the performance as is did not really affect the experience all that much. Motion controllers are supported here and you can basically use them as laser pointers and there will be highlighted objects that you click on to progress the story or hidden objects that you find which will give you background information on the author, the history, etc. It is a standstill or seated experience. There is no locomotion. You do have snap turning available. Strangely, there is no option to turn off subtitles. So since you have to have them there anyways, I do recommend increasing text size. And oddly enough, although you do not have the option to turn subtitles off, you do have the option of muting the voiceovers. I have no idea why anyone would decide to do that. The narration in this experience is excellent, as well as the ambient background noises and sounds and music and the music here just blends in masterfully with the narration and the background ambient sounds really excellent job with the sound mix here just with the sounds here the story comes alive and you're chilled to the bone just listening to it now the visuals are not the best you will see in VR I do appreciate the artwork and the imagining of this short story by HP Lovecraft that's come to life in these 3D visuals, but I honestly do believe that this artwork does look better in non-VR than it does in VR. Unfortunately, sometimes when you show a 3D world that's not made from the ground up for VR, it kind of shows, and in this case, there's just some low textures and that that bring down the experience in VR, at least visually. Plus, reading in VR is just never really a good experience. I'd rather just read in a flat screen non-VR experience if there's going to be heavy reading involved. Although audibly in VR this is a great experience because basically you're able to shut out the outside world and just be fully focused on this narrative experience. Despite this not being visually the best experience I've seen in VR, especially with the heavy emphasis on reading text, I did still strongly enjoy the experience. I think maybe I enjoyed this experience more more in non-VR than I did in VR, but definitely it is unique in VR. You're able to fully see 360 3D world around you and you're able to shut out the outside world and just listen to the narration of this cosmic horror experience. And I strongly recommend it. Even if you're not a big fan of HP Lovecraft, I would say go ahead and give this a try. I think you will like it. And if after rate this experience and I'm rating the VR experience, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. I do strongly recommend it. I had a great time. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of the video. Cool. The region was putrid with the carcasses of decaying fish and of other less describable things which I saw protruding from the nasty mud of the unending plain. Perhaps I should not hope to convey in mere words the unutterable hideousness that can dwell in absolute silence and barren immensity. There was nothing within hearing and nothing in sight save a vast reach of black slime. Yet the very completeness of the stillness and the homogeneity of the landscape oppressed me with a nauseating fear. The sun was blazing down from a sky which seemed to me almost black in its cloudless cruelty as though reflecting the inky marsh beneath my feet. 
As I crawled into the stranded boat, I realized that only one theory could explain my position. Through some unprecedented volcanic upheaval, a portion of the ocean floor must have been thrown to the surface, exposing regions for which innumerable millions of years had lain hidden under unfathomable watery depths. So great was the extent of the new land which had risen beneath me that I could not detect the faintest noise of the surging ocean, straining my ears as I might. Nor were there any sea fowl to prey upon the dead things. <laughs> 